Hey, and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 of the most effective drills that you can do with one of my favorite pieces of kit that I like to keep here in my tennis bag. Let's get into it. So alongside the essentials like tennis rackets, grips, tennis balls, there are a few things that I think are essential to keep in your tennis bag at all times. And one of them is the agility ladder. Now, the reason I keep an agility ladder in my bag at all times is outside of a skipping rope, it's probably the most light and portable piece of kit that you can do so much with. And for tennis players in particular, it really helps with many parts of your game. Using one of these in the right way can help you to develop speed, agility, coordination, balance, precision, amongst lots of other things. And you'll see loads of the best tennis players in the world using this piece of kit within their strength and conditioning sessions. In today's video, I'm gonna show you 10 of the most effective ways to use this piece of kit for tennis players, but other sports players as well. And if you hang around to the end of the video, I'll show you how you could use these 10 exercises to build your own workout that you can do on a tennis court, at home, in any outdoor space. And actually you don't even need the ladder if you use your imagination. If you don't have a ladder, another way you can do these exercises is by setting up your own lines. If you're in your front room at home, you can line out socks. If you're outdoors and you can find some paving slabs, these can be perfect for setting up your ladder exercises. So use your imagination. If you don't have a ladder, you can still do these drills. So let's take a look at these exercises so you can start to build your own warm-ups and your own workouts. Let's go.
So there you go. There are hundreds of different exercises you can do with the agility ladder. They were just 10 of my favorite ones that I like to use for tennis players. Let me know in the comments below if there were any exercises there that you haven't seen before. And if there was, hit that like button. So in the final part of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can build those 10 exercises and more to make your own home workout or warm up routine. So when thinking about building your own workout, the first thing to consider is how much time do you have or how much time do you want to spend doing this workout? So if you want a quick 10 minute workout, if you're looking for a 15 minute workout or maybe 20 minute workout, I would suggest for an agility ladder workout, you don't need much longer than 20 minutes. Once you know how long you want to be spending in your workout, the second thing you want to think about is what level of intensity do you want to be working at? Are you looking for a high intensity workout? Are you looking for something in lower intensity so that it's a bit more like a warm-up routine. So that's the second thing you need to consider. Once you know those two things, you can start to build your workout. So as you saw, I showed you 10 exercises. So if we take those 10 exercises and we want to do a 10 minute workout, then we have one minute of time to allocate towards each exercise. If you're looking for a 15 minute workout, your 10 exercises will last 90 seconds each. And if you're looking for a 20 minute workout, then you'll go for two minutes of each exercise. Now, when we're talking about the intensity of your workout, we need to consider how much time are we working and resting. So if you're looking for a low intensity workout, then you want to be working for a third of the time and resting for two thirds of the time. So for a 10 minute workout, with each exercise lasting one minute, you'll be working for 20 seconds, followed by a 40 second rest. If you're looking for a medium level workout, then you'll be working for 30 seconds and resting for 30 seconds. And if you want a high intensity workout, then you'll be working for 40 seconds and resting for 20. The same can be applied for a 15 minute workout and a 20 minute workout. Just work out how long you want to be working and how long you want to be resting per exercise. I like to write each of the exercises down on a sheet of paper and leave it on the floor and I start my stopwatch. The benefit of doing these exercises with high intensity followed by rest is it allows your heart rate to rise and fall and that way it can strengthen your heart and your lungs to get you fitter as well as improving your speed, agility and coordination etc. Like any workout it's super important to focus on the quality of the exercise so if you feel like your quality is starting to drop maybe consider next next time making your rest period slightly longer or making your workout slightly shorter in total. If you're not sure about the length of your workout or the intensity of your workout, start by doing a 10 minute workout, doing 30 seconds of exercise and 30 seconds of rest. From there, you can work out whether you want to increase the length of your workout or increase or decrease the intensity of your workout. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video or if you learned anything and consider subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more of this sort of content. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.